at some point, chasing women gets old and dealing with them and all the bullshit that comes with them gets old. All the drama that they bring along gets old. All the draining of your energy gets old. They just ain't what they all cracked up to be, bro. It's like eating the peanut butter jelly sandwich every day. You're going to get sick of that motherfucker. You're going to get sick of eating that peanut butter and jelly sandwich every single day. And that's how it is with women and dealing with them. And social media doesn't make it any easier. On Instagram, that's all you see up and down the timeline. Women, women, naked bitches, women looking for attention, thirst traps, all these selfies. I'm like wondering like, how the hell is this popping up in my suggested feed? This is being suggested to me in the Explore page. Nothing but women, nothing but all these chicks, these chicks, these chicks. At some point it just got old to me. I'm like, dude, I'm tired of seeing this like, I'm over it. Men are being desensitized by women because it's such an oversaturation of it that it's not a big deal anymore. They all look the same. They all got these filters on. They all got the lip injections. They're all the same. We're not intrigued anymore. So now men are being desensitized. It's just like eating the peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day you're gonna get tired of that motherfucker now myself i've had a lot of women i've been with a lot of women and there's a lot of more important things in life now to me you know going to the gym getting my money up just living my life being the best person that i can be so women aren't that important to me anymore it was a point in my life where everywhere i went i was looking out where the bitches at where the hoes at you know like Oh, I hope there's some bras in there. Like, everywhere I went to the grocery store, no matter where I went, it was always me pursuing women, checking them out. It, it was just overwhelming. Like it got to a point where I'm just I just got over it, man. I just started focusing on myself and making sure my health is good, trying to get fit, you know. So to make a long story short, when you focus on yourself and you do all of those things, the women will come naturally. And then you can deal with them on your terms. You ain't got to play no games, jump through hoops. You're going to attract them. And when you attract them, then you're the one with the power. You're the one in position. You're the one who can reject them or entertain them. You're not pursuing them. And then you're having to jump through hoops just to keep their attention. I'm going to give you an example. So I'll say a couple months ago, my homeboys wanted to go watch a UFC fight. So we decided, okay, we're gonna go to this bar. And the bar was in a nice area, you know, upscale, nice bar. I'm like, I ain't, I'm not in there looking for no women. I ain't gonna be trying to check no broads out. I ain't trying to get no numbers. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to watch the fight and enjoy myself. We go to the bar, you know, I'm in there chopping it up with my guys. We having drinks, we enjoying ourselves. I ain't paying no attention to the women. In the past, I'll be trying to holler at them or whatever, but um, that's the last thing on my mind. I'm just there with my guys, enjoying the night and having some drinks and watching the UFC fight. I'm always fresh, you know, I always keep myself groomed and dressed nice or whatever, and I'm just chilling. And then next thing you know, these two women come in they come over to our table, and you know, they're talking with some of my other guys at the table or whatnot. And then next thing you know, one comes over to me, having a little conversation. She was asking me about, you know, my goals in life and this and that. And then I told her what my goals were, how I'm chasing my purpose out here. And you know what? This broad straight just kissed me. I ain't lying, this broad just kissed me, bro. And she was like, oh, like, like she met Prince Charming. It, it tripped me out. Now, the crazy thing about that is that was sexual harassment. <laughs> if I would have did that to her, oh my goodness. 
But see, men, we can't do no shit like that. What would I look like? Like, oh, this girl, this lady just came up and kissed me. And <laughs> it's just crazy how women get away with shit that we can't get away with. So, yeah, that happened. We chopping it up, this and that. You know, she get my number. Then this other female comes over to me. And she's like, you know, all the women like you. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, you're so cool. You're just calm. Your demeanor, you're quiet. Like, you're intriguing. All the women like you. And I'm like, all right, if you say so, you know. <laughs> then the other girl started getting jealous, like. It, it was a bunch of bullshit. The moral of the story is focus on you, handle your business, and the women will come. There's more important things in life than just pursuing women. You're wasting a lot of time that you could be using doing other things. So just focus on yourself, get your money up, and the women will come to you. Suckers try to imitate, it's kinda hard to do I got bitches pulling up like a barbecue I holla at a bitch like her father do Tell Cinderella I'm that fella, she forgot her shoe Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do I fuck with a lot of bitches, I ain't gotta move If you ain't talking about no cash, I ain't trying to reach you You can find me in the lab like a science teacher I'm in the lab like a science teacher I'm in the lab like a science teacher If she ain't talking about no cash, I ain't trying to reach you